begin by thanking each of you for your prayers and your cards and your telephone calls. And, uh, we're, we're not at 100% yet, but I can see it. Oh, yeah. 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 Hallelujah. I can, I can see it. <laughs> and as, as Lonnie and I were talking uh, earlier when we got here, uh, this lesson today is really kind of appropriate for mm -hmm. for the path, the journey that I've been on. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Because a lot of the uh, a lot of the moments of uh, being caught in the trap of temptation to doubt mm -hmm. uh, was uh, was often mm -hmm. and, uh, and and very obvious yeah. and much like David, you know, he's he's tell, showing us clearly that uh, you you got to have the right thing on your mind mm -hmm. when you're yeah. when you're facing difficulties. Oh, and uh, you've gone through uh, the lesson, and you know that Psalms 22 is. Is, a, is another transitional passage, right? Yeah. Uh, it was, uh, it's coming on the, on the end of two passages that recognized the many blessings of God. Yeah. Uh, Psalm 20, if you had to put a title on it, said, trust not in chariots and horses, but in God. All right. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, 20 verse Chapter 20, verse 9 says, Save, Lord, may the king answer us when we call. Psalm 21 dealt with the triumph of the king. So these are passages that, that had to do with recognizing the blessings of God. Amen. And now Psalms 22, is, its foundation is that David is offering up what seems to be a complaint. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Right? Amen. I mean, Amen. you know, with uh, uneducated eyes, take a look at how this passage opens up. Mm. You, you say to yourself, this, this, this boy's complaining. Mm -hmm. And he's complaining about being reduced to circumstances that has driven him to despair. Mm -hmm. That's what the enemy wants, isn't it? Mm -hmm. He wants to f put us in situations where we are unable to see the truth and be driven to, to despair. The author positions it as sort of a, a trilogy around Christ the shepherd, I think is what he said. Mm -hmm. And, and what, what are those, what is that trilogy? Well, number one, it says that, what's that? He died for us. Shepherd died. Good shepherd died for, for the sheep, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and a good shepherd is, is committed that way. Am I right about it? I know that. Yeah. I know that. <laughs> Second part of the trilogy was what? Great shepherd lives for the sheep. Yeah. Cares for the good shepherd dies. The great shepherd, the shepherd. lives mm -hmm. for the sheep, mm -hmm. and not not just live for them, but cares yeah. for them as well. Mm -hmm. Right. That, that that's an important part of of our relationship with God. And the third part is what? Returns in the glory chief to shepherd. reward. Right. But that is the chief, chief shepherd. Chief shepherd. Right? Chief shepherd. Mm -hmm. Reward his sheep for their service. So does this psalm uh, demonstrate uh, prophetic skills on the part of David? I mean, when you, when you, when you read it, uh, does it appear that he is being a prophet? I mean, he's, he's, he's stating things that were far beyond his time. I mean, it, it, aren't we seeing words that were used by Christ some thousand years later? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Might not have been... It, it, Clearly, it wasn't in the same context, but the mere fact that God allowed it to mm -hmm. slip into it, mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. to begin to build on the foundation that one is coming. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts about that? 
So, so, go ahead. Well, the forecasting of things, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the way God always seems, the nature of God in my mind is always, always preparing us. Mm -hmm. uh, he's always giving us a, forca a forecast of things to come. Uh, and he's using David at this point, yeah. as you said, to, to lay that groundwork for, for the Christ child who's yeah. coming. And, and to, to be that, that the ultimate shepherd uh, who comes and takes care of all the, all the flock. Yeah. Not yeah. only does he care for them, but he does everything for them to include lay down his life. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the forecast, I think, that I see in, in what's being talked about here. Yeah, later. yeah. And, and, and in the case of David, he's, he's constantly showing us that, that, that it's important for us never to forget that we are connected to God, right? right? And that all of the provisions that are necessary, God's already taken care of. Right. And, 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 and you know, you can easily forget that when you're, when you're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. And, and trouble meaning all kinds of things, right. you know. Uh, it, it, it's, it's easy to, to slip off on, on the wrong end and, and misinterpret things. Uh, as being uh, that God's forgotten all about us. Amen. Amen. Well, and, this, and, this complaint about, you know, uh, how long, Lord, does, yeah. my, does my enemy win over me? How yeah. long? You know, you know, everyone has, at least uh, uh, in my vernacular, has um, disparaging moments, you know, where it just seems like the enemy is winning mm -hmm. today. But, yeah. mm -hmm. but God is... It, God has given us the greatest example. I mean, Jesus uh, was victim to all of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so and his example through David here is to say, you're going to go through this, but God has your back, yeah. and he's not going to let you lose. I yeah. mean, he's, got, he's got a preparation for you uh, because the enemy thinks he's winning right mm -hmm. now. But the shepherd is there for the sheep, and yeah. he will always secure the victory for you. That's right. And that's kind of what, what's yeah. going on. In that's right. Life. That's right. And and I mean, in, in each of our lives, we've had situations where we felt that there's no, you know, it it, it just it seemed like there was no way of escape, right? No way of improving the condition. And if you if if you were uh, if you're not properly connected with the teachings of, of Christ, the teachings of God, the teachings of examples like David, you become desperate. And that's what, uh, that's what 22 is showing us. It's showing us that prayer in time of suffering is a critical thing. Because in the case of David, he felt abandoned by the Lord. Yeah. So let's read verses 1, 1 and 2. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me, so far from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry out by day, but you do not answer by night, and am not silent. So what, what, do, you, what do you get out of that? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Christ well, first of all, Christ he's still Christ. crying out to God um, okay. in the suffering. Yeah. I mean, rather than just saying, oh, 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's still, and yeah. I, you know, the fact that he said it twice, I think, is important also. Okay. That it, because it's, it's, it just speaks to the uh, strength of the faith mm -hmm. that he still had, even though he was. He was going through mm -hmm. some things, uh, and, and to the point we were making earlier, and, and, that, and that, I got a little confused until you said it was a little while ago, and that is that I didn't see this David being a prophet, even though I, that's why I read the book, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, because as one reference I was reading said, you know, the stars are out every day, mm -hmm. but you can't see it for the sun, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so you. you this that he described here, yeah. the author describing here, that Psalm describing here, is about God. Yeah. You don't see David initially. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You see, oh yeah, that's that's what.
Jesus went through. Indeed. On indeed. the cross. Mm -hmm. And 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 the the expression of uh, of reaching out to the God that is still active in his life was was critical, wasn't it? I mean, he, he's not saying uh, my God is an expression of uh, of doubt. Right. Right. right? He's, he's saying my God is a, as an expression of truth. Yeah. Right. That I, I know you're there. Yeah. Right. Why aren't you I, helping me? Yeah. Yeah. I, I know you. I know you're there. Mm -hmm. And I know you're going to do what you promised me you're going to do. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just anxious to see it. Mm -hmm. Right. <clears throat> right now I'm in pain. Mm -hmm. And I don't hear from you. And you know, and, and another thing too is, is there, there is strength in calling out and validating the fact that you have a God. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, there, there is a, there's an extra level of endurance that you seem to get mm -hmm. when you Call on the name of God and you know he's there. Amen. And I think that's what David is doing here. Amen. He's saying, you know, I know I'm going through it. But I can endure because of the joy that's at the end of it. Christ was doing the same thing, wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, he wasn't complaining when he made those same statements, right. that same statement. That, that, that's a just kind of intermingled with, with my recent journey uh, I knew the situation that I was in in the hospital but things happened along the way that caused me to forget about what I was going through and enjoy the journey through the lives of other people mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You, you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. it was almost like saying I know God's got my situation mm -hmm. let, let me see what I can do to be a blessing to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's what David is talking about. Mm -hmm. Yes. They, and I think that's what we try to. Uh, I, I talk about the grandkids. I've been working with Kelly because he and I have agreed that we can have open discussions about faith. Mm -hmm. Because he's 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 a seventeen. He's a sixteen year old kid who's trying to figure out where he fits in. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I approached it from this perspective of purpose. I said, you won't know what you want to do and where you want to go until you understand God's purpose for your life. Yeah. And uh, I told him, I said, Mommy might not be here. Mumsy may not be here. Opa. I said, but you're going to need a, a source that's way beyond anything we can do. And that's God. That's where you're going to put your faith. And he said, I could, he, he said, I could buy that a little get bit. In. Yeah, so yeah. keep praying for us because I'm trying to mm. get him to the point. Yeah. We, we brought them up and then they've kind of, they don't get the support that we gave them mm -hmm. uh, in yeah. terms of coming in for church and Sunday school. But it's hard. And he accepted Christ yeah. in the car one day, he and his brother. Mm -hmm. So that's not my, but not my. he wants to have, a, I want him to understand that when you go away to college mm -hmm. and he's yes. a couple of years, mm -hmm. that Mama won't be there, Daddy won't be, or whomever. Yeah. Right? yeah. And you're going to run up against some tough times. Well, this is where your faith that's right. kicks in. That's right. Yeah, that's right. And that's he right. won't have the faith of David at that point. Yeah, yeah, but he yeah. would certainly know that I can cry out. Mm -hmm. I can call mm -hmm. out. Yeah. And I think even as adults, um, you have to sometimes just cry out. That's I right. don't know what's going on. No, that, that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. And that's what David's doing. Mm -hmm. he, he, he's declaring his faith. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that my God part is, is a declaration of his faith. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and uh, just thinking through, again, my hospital journey, that was a declaration of my faith. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, Absolutely. because people are watching you. Yeah. Absolutely. Right? <clears throat> and you notice that David calls out, he doesn't just say God, God. He says, my God. My God. He, there's a relationship. There's a person yeah. here. Yeah. Ownership, of, ownership. ownership of the God. Yes. Ownership of yeah. it. You know, you are my God. Mm -hmm. You know, Luke, let's talk about the man down the hallway from you in the hospital mm -hmm. who was, who was in, in pain and throwing out the nurses and throwing things at the nurses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so the contrast is to do it in your own, in your own mental state, yeah. in your own mm -hmm. mental capacity in terms of how you think you can solve the problem. Yeah. As opposed to turning to my God, my God, uh, having, having a greater source, that source mm -hmm. you're talking about, mm -hmm. that's what you're talking about, being stressed out or being in a stressful situation, and you have only the source of 
of whatever this human thing called a body is mm -hmm. and your mind, as opposed to having a greater power to be able to turn to who, who uh, one who's all knowing and all yeah. powerful. Yeah, and the patient to, body was right. in control. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah. true. Didn't even know God. So we I got to pray for him. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's it's one of those situations where, where God puts us in the middle of yeah. of a battle. <laughs> yeah. And and uh, David is no different, right? Amen. Uh, I was moved from uh, recovery to a room sharing with someone mm -hmm. because Georgetown was 100 percent sold out, no private room. <laughs> <laughs> and and I was given a a room with a homeless guy. I mean, he had a, a government-provided housing, mm -hmm. and, and he was subsidized by the government and all that, so he really wasn't homeless. He just, mm -hmm. but he was paralyzed on one side, could hardly raise his head or his hand, mm -hmm. and he was just filled with rage and mm -hmm. and was, you know, using profanity like crazy and. Jeez. And so when we came into the room, uh, he was already in the process of dealing with the nurses. He'd already fired one nurse because mm -hmm. they didn't respond when he wanted them to. And I mean, it's just a terrible. And you come into the room and you could feel the tension. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we got position, and uh, he never slowed down, you know, while <laughs> they were wheeling me in. And uh, Catherine and I, we, we got to our spot and we kind of looked at each other and said, oh my, what, what is this, you know? Mm -hmm. and, it, and it just became obvious to me that, that God had put me in a place oh, where yeah. Oh, yeah. you had to, yeah. okay, you, you know, you're a warrior, <laughs> all right, Get on your arm. Let's, let's see, yeah. David, right, mm -hmm. yes, where, where, where do you, Amen. where's your strength, Amen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing you can do. You in you in bed in a hospital bed as well with with IV. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you call those things? Same following same you same around. Same. Yeah. Uh, oh, and and shortly after getting in that room, the uh, the chaplain came in. And the chaplain came in because I checked off, you know, that yeah. I, I had a problem talking to the chaplain because I'm a preacher. And and what he allowed me the opportunity to do was give my testimony. And I gave a testimony from A to Z. Wouldn't have, didn't have just focus on my experience in the hospital. And, uh, and I guess after uh, several hours after Catherine had left and the priest had gone and the nurses were all back to their station, I hear this voice on the other side of the curtain. I heard your testimony. And we began to talk. Hold on. And he began to Word quote scripture. Ain't God good. He began to quote scripture. Ain't God good. So what, Ain't now, good. understand that the enemy knows words That's so right. better than we do. That's right. But he began to quote scripture to me. And, and we began to talk about the goodness of God in each of our lives. Uh, his pride had to do with the fact that he was a street guy. He grew up in the street, knew all about the street. And I said, well, me too. <laughs> but I left that life behind. Yeah. And here's why. And, and, and so we began to connect on that level. And I finally said, well, man, let me, you know, and I reached out of the bed. I said, I got I to gotta look at you and pull the curtain back. Curtain back. <laughs> and so we, we, yeah. had great conversation about the Lord and his life. Yeah. It's a person who, uh, who had lost the love of his life a couple of years ago in an accident. Mm -hmm. And he had had a stroke shortly after that. Yeah. This was his second stroke mm -hmm. and, and was just hated the world. Yeah. Uh, used God as an excuse. I don't want to put this on him that he was using God as a crutch, but but it seemed that he was he's he's so streetwise that he's using every tool he can to to maneuver himself through life. Mm -hmm. And in this conversation, 
God was a clear opportunity for him to. Yeah. And, and the plug-in that really caught him was that his girlfriend that he lost was Caucasian. Mm -hmm. And so when he saw this relationship, Catherine and I, it, it gave yeah. him another reason to want to talk. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the next morning, I thought it was all, all done and, and that he calmed down and fired up. nurses came in and, and this guy was fired up. worse than the day before. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Demonstrating that in the midst of struggle, yeah. God is still in control. Yeah. And we are obligated in the midst of battle to demonstrate that fact, right? Mm -hmm. I endured it as, and Catherine was there too, as, as long as we could. And I finally got up out of bed, mm. grabbed my uh, little Bowl. thing, <laughs> walked over to his bed and grabbed his hand and said, Brother, let me tell you, I love you. Mm -hmm. not, not, not only, it's not only that I love you, God, God loves you. I, love you yeah. I mean, you, you've been saying yeah. that to me, yes. you know, for two days now. Mm -hmm. And and we talked about the fact that he was he was right in some of the things that he was complaining about. You know, mm -hmm. they, they were trying to give him medication that uh, made him sick. Mm -hmm. And they finally found one that didn't make him sick. But they wouldn't give it to him. They wanted to give him... What the, what the requirements were. So he had the right information, he just didn't know how to, how to, how to express himself. And so I tried to guide him on that, and, uh, and he started crying like a baby. Just, just crying like a baby. And uh, just, just to, to really cut to the chase, he... Uh, the next day, apologized to all of the nurses that he had mm. thrown Personal out. Lord. Praise God. Personal the next day, uh, Deacon Hester went by to pray with him after he visited. This was on Sunday. Mm. And uh, came back and told me that the guy was now able, say, when he went into the room and was talking to him, he says, my conversation with Reverend Phillips has, has done some wonderful things for me. He said, because when I came in here, I couldn't raise my hand. He said, put his hand behind his oh, head. Oh, wow. Lifted his leg. <laughs> only, only God could, God can do that. Yeah. could intervene that way yeah. Yeah. and make this brother feel like he's Amen. he's got a friend someplace. Right. Yeah. I mean, it may not have, have completely uh, changed his life, mm -hmm. but for that instance, something, something different occurred. I was with the I'm doing this uh, video for uh, early dinner, mm -hmm. Earl Stafford yesterday, and I was sharing the story with him, mm -hmm. and he, and I said, you know, I said it it probably didn't make much difference in his life because uh, after he was he checked himself out of the hospital, he got so upset with everybody, mm -hmm. he just checked himself against medical advice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that I was trying to help him by connecting people with him to go to his home and help him get straight. I even sent him a little cash. But before he could get all that, I'm trying to tell him, you have to be patient with God. You, you, you yeah. can't expect to be delivered the blessings of God on a whim, you know, because that's part of the test. It, yeah. Isn't that what David is telling us exactly. here? Exactly. 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 David's saying, you know, I, I want it now. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Yeah, you've been there all the time. Right. <laughs> Where are you now? <laughs> but, but, see, <laughs> but see, David knew to be patient. Mm -hmm. This guy didn't understand that. And so he sent me a text mm -hmm. that was filled with expletives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, because the things didn't happen as quick as he wanted it to. Mm -hmm. And uh, and essentially started elevating Satan. Mm -hmm. saying, Satan is great. Yeah. And so I, I just said, that, and I was telling, sharing this with uh, with Earl, and Earl said, well, Lou, you can't say he didn't get anything out of it. And I said, yeah. you're absolutely right. Yeah. Because our job is to what? Plan. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. Isn't that right? That's right. Our job is to plan. Yeah. 
That's Did he right. deal with alcoholism, drugs, and, or any of that kind of I think he, he, he went through all of it. Probably all yeah. of it, yeah. yeah. Went through all of it. Yeah. Just, just a really, and that's the thing that turned my journey at the hospital into something beyond just mm -hmm. one by yeah. here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because it, it was it was a it was a face to face meeting with a part of life that I hadn't really seen in a, long, <laughs> in a long 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 time. But you know you have to feel what you did was what God had planted you there to do. That's, That's exactly what you right. have to say. Even though he's yeah. he's gone completely crazy now. In God's own time. Yes. Everything that you put in Him yeah. will just explode one Yeah, day. yeah. And it, it will happen. I know it will. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. That I, But let me refer, I'm also, I'm on the other side of this. I think God gives us opportunities. Mm -hmm. And this man had an opportunity. He has a choice to make. Oh, yeah. He does. And that's why I was wondering about mental he illness does. and this sort of thing. But, um, it would be beautiful if every if we if I see if our garden only came up with beautiful flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it doesn't always doesn't work. If we water it, we do the same thing, and mm -hmm. some don't. Sometimes they make it. You know, it the wings and the wings is good. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. but, you know, but, you, but you don't stop. No, but I'm just saying, you don't stop watering. You don't stop watering. You don't stop. But I, I, I look at people and I eat. Right. You think you pour and you pour and you pour in too. Yeah. And yeah, they're. They don't receive. That's a choice. That's that's what they they have yeah. a choice to yeah. make. Working with Lou through the I think golf and various mm -hmm. other things, he always went into those situations, those health situations, praying that God would allow him to be a vessel. Mm -hmm. Certainly not just mm -hmm. to use his strength because of that relationship that he had with God, but that he would put him in situations where he could witness mm -hmm. and create a testimony. Mm -hmm. The deliver a testimony to others. Mm -hmm. And it seems to me that you know, God's right on time. It goes back to what you all are saying. Mm -hmm. He puts you in those situations oh, yeah. so that you he can does. be a witness. So oh, yeah. no, take I, the word forward. I believe it. I believe it. That's why you know, I'm saying that it's a journey. It was a journey of joy. Yeah. 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 There was yeah. some pain there, but it yeah. was a journey of joy. Yeah. And, and that's where David is. Isn't it? Yeah. David yeah. is fighting with his flesh here. Yeah. 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 Yes. He's fighting with his flesh. Yes. He is. Because just like the guy that I was dealing with, his name is Norris, uh, he's giving in to the flesh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and all that's happening and just looking at a, a small picture of his life is that the more he gives in to the flesh, the more miserable he becomes. <laughs> yeah. And he spreads it. Huh? He doesn't just contain his miseries. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Shares and shares. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, but that's, that's where uh, our expressions of, uh, of the love of God is so important because we come on for a while on that stuff. Right? Yeah. You know, we, we come yeah. along to, to quench those flames. That's right. Uh, you know, we may not put out the fire, right. but if we can, like in the case of, of this guy, if I can give him five minutes of respite right. away from whatever the turmoil and stuff that's going on in his head, that, that's a blessing for him. Amen. And, and the strength Amen. that we get from it, uh, David is demonstrating it to us in, in this passage and throughout Psalm. Mm -hmm. He's demonstrating to us that it strengthens us. I mean, because I found myself going from room to room now. <laughs> you know, sharing the fact that uh, that God is able. Yeah. yeah. You know, so people didn't understand that. You know, you you just went through a nine-hour operation. Scheduled for two hours. That's right. <laughs> you just went through a night, and a day and a half later, you up walking the halls. What, what, what's up with that? My God. I've, My you know, God. I've claimed victory right. already <clears throat> because of the promises of God. Yes. I'm not going to allow the flesh to have me laying in bed. Woe is me. <laughs> That's not what it's all about, is it? No. So, so let me ask you this question. Have you ever been in a place where your flesh caused you to want to seek a better understanding about what, what you're facing? Okay. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we just talk about your son. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. Your, your, 
your flesh is saying there's got to be a better. <laughs> but your but your your understanding about your relationship with God and your faith says. I'm going to rock on smoothly anyway. Because yeah. yeah. I know that He's got it. in perfect time. Perfect time. Yeah. 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 yeah, until that kicks in, though. It's a little, it's a little rough around the edges. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Right. It gets a little rough. <laughs> but, but, but it gives you just a little tidbit here and yeah. there to, yeah. you know, to reinforce you. So, okay. Well, that's right. Okay. That's right. Be your time, God. One, one quote says, Faith does not gain the victory at the first encounter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But after receiving many blows, mm -hmm. and after being <laughs> exercised right. with many tossings, That's right. That's right. she at length comes forth with victory. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and you say, well, why, why didn't I go there first? Yes. Rather than going through all this. <laughs> yeah. going through all this. <laughs> why did I put myself through this? Growing you. So I, I came up with a question that, uh, just just now as you were saying that, mm -hmm. that we we're talking about David's writing in in the book of Psalms. So we, me, am so I'm saying, is he really listening to his flesh, or is he just talking about listening to his flesh? and the right way to do things. And at the end, just hold on because the God at the end, you know, at the end of the chapter, mm -hmm. God is rules. Yeah, God's yeah. there. He's, mm -hmm. And so I, I, I was trying to separate whether it's just, is David really going through this or is he really talking about all these wolves and hounds and dogs <laughs> as sin that's, that's out there and the Lord dealt with sin, but that sin caused him pain. Mm -hmm. And, and that, that that was the pain that he was going through. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All the sins and all the things that were going on that were not right. Uh, and, and so I was trying to separate, as I said, yeah. him telling about this or going through this. Yeah. Well, you know, what, what I can, and it's open to anybody to comment, what I get out of it is that David is telling the story after the fact. Mm -hmm. Okay. And as a result of that, he, he's expressing all of the things that he had to deal with okay. in order to stay righteous. Okay, okay. Because his whole, his whole mindset well, is that, to... That, that straightens it out for me. Yes. Isn't that right? I mean, his whole mindset is to be righteous yeah. mm -hmm. before God. Yeah. You know, he, he could care less about man. He's, he's trying to be righteous before God. And as he's recounting this, He's, he's, he's laying out a pattern for all of us to follow. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. In, in other, hold on. Yeah. It's a witness no different than what you experienced with, with no, no, what was his name? Norris. Norris. Mm -hmm. you, know, I, you know, I'm dealing with a boss, and you know about him, I've shared mm -hmm. a little bit with you. But a man who's, who's felt as though he could figure everything out and he's persecuted many. Mm -hmm. I'm one of them. Okay. <laughs> uh, but now turns um, at, at his most desperate moment when he's going through a, a horrible divorce and asks me for prayer. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's 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 about modeling um, at a time when you have known and seen God take you through things and being mm -hmm. able to share back with someone. And David's sharing back with us mm -hmm. what God has brought him through yeah. in the most terrible of times yeah, 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 and how he's yeah. delivered him. Uh, and even though he's encircled by the hounds, mm -hmm. uh, the hounds don't win. Yeah, yeah. They might bite, but they don't win. That's right. You know? That's right. <laughs> so you get to know from David's experience, like your experience, that, that there's an end state. Yeah. If he makes the right choices, that's right. That's then, right. God, then God will lead him through. Yeah. And that's yeah. what David, I think, says to me here. That's right. That's right. And, and, and we, we invest ourselves in the understanding and belief that God will deliver on his promises. Yeah. So, so in other words, we don't invest in what the end outcome is going to be. Right. We just know what God promised and expect that because our faith says yeah. that he's going to deliver. Right? So, so one question is, where are we tested? And where is David showing us that we are tested in our faith walk? Where are we tested in our faith walk? 
in our prayer, prayer life, life. In, our, in our prayer, prayer life, life you know, are we uh, committed Christians that we will fall on our knees, fall prostrate and pray to God mm -hmm. that this that we let him be the one that guides us yeah, through it, yeah. that we know he's in charge of it, that while we have free will, Lord, we are making the right, we pray that we're making the right choices based on what you've taught us, yeah. what we know the word says. Yeah, yeah. So it's through the prayer. Okay, okay. And it's I'm so, I'm so tested just through, um, through uh, again, our, our faith to be patient and and recognize that God is working and be patient to allow him to work because as you said, we don't know what what answer God's going to provide mm -hmm. and oftentimes it doesn't come in the form that we think it ought to, mm -hmm. but we have to have faith enough to A, recognize when mm -hmm. when God is answering our prayers. Yeah. And, and yeah. Uh, So to me, it's just a, a test not to, uh, and, and similar to what you said about Norris, that, that it wasn't happening <laughs> on, on Norris's command. Yeah, yeah. And so he didn't have the faith to to just be to, to rest and and, uh, and be comfortable that God was going to answer his prayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I thought even as something as simple as this morning when we came and the doors weren't available to us, and God provided a little rock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can do any damage. <laughs> you can do any damage, but it, 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 it you got, break the window. You break the window, mm -hmm. and you think about if you think. I mean, in a larger application, mm -hmm. sometimes the light, the unlikely, the most unlikely of things are the things that we use to get mm -hmm. that he uses for us. And and I thought I said as we were talking, I said that we had knocked on the doors, we had done all the ring the bell, all the right stuff, right stuff, <laughs> tried to call, and. I said, you know what? I'm I'm a country girl. You, you find a way, and you, I, I felt the smallest pebble, I, the, mm -hmm. and they were all big. But I knew that if I if I hit the window, you, it would get your attention. Yeah, sure enough. And we're laughing about it rather than sitting around angered by it. Well, I wasn't. It, we right. didn't go back. We can laugh about it. And God gives us humor. Yeah. He gives us a sense of humor. Right. We release those good things in our body. Mm -hmm. And we can walk out kind of feeling, hey, it was that dumb, but yeah. it worked, <laughs> you know? Well, the, so even the simple things in life. That's right. And let me add to that because um, on the way, I had left my phone. And so I'm, I said, oh, how am I going to get in? And so I'm. Trying to figure out, okay, well, first of all, I was saying, oh, please let the door be open <laughs> when I get there. And as I walked up, there's we standing holding the door open. And I, you know, not, you know, I said, praise God. <laughs> I had no idea. I'm thinking the same it's, thing. It's a, but it's a small thing. Yes. It's a small thing. And, oh, you, you can, it can either make your day or break your day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and that's kind of what David is saying here, right? He's going through all this misery, but he's thinking of the things that he know God is going to deliver on. Mm -hmm. And and what you were saying about praying. Well, what did David say? David says, uh, "I cry out by day <laughs> and night." Yes. He's, he's talking about praying. Yes, That's what he yes exactly. Said. Right. <laughs> and it doesn't look like I'm getting any kind of response from you. But he also tells him what he can do. You know, it, Go ahead. This, this is what you've done. Yes. You know, and why? Why am I not feeling this? Yeah. Look, look yeah. at all you've done here yeah. to other for, for other folks, and and what what we declare that you can do. But but do you do you see that as being a uh, a declaration of yes. of, of you are not giving that to me, yes. or is he putting that out there as a as an incentive for himself to say, I can get that too? Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah, I think both. Amen. You think both? I think both. <laughs> yeah, I know what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and those are the, the kind of little things that you were talking about, Tell, is that if you, uh, if you focus on, while you're going through the, the big stuff, if you just allow yourself to focus on the little improvements that are happening, mm -hmm. you get through it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I know, you know, with 
what I'm dealing with. It was uh, important to think about when was uh, one of the, uh, what do you call it, uh, Tubes going to be removed mm -hmm. from, yeah. you know, because I was walking around with three of them on. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't worry about all the other stuff. I looked forward to the day when God was going to deliver that mm -hmm. one God mm -hmm. and then deliver the second one. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know, yeah. because I know He's taking care of all the other yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. David's doing the same thing, isn't he? Yeah. He's saying, you know, uh, I, I may be going through all of this. But I know what you can what you can deliver on. One quote says, "He who seems to have been beaten seems to have beaten the air to no purpose in prayer, or to have lost his labor in praying for a long time. Should not on that account stop praying." Amen. When we are weakest, he is strong. Yeah, yeah. Grandma, you say, pray at all times. Pray it all. And she did. And oh, she yeah, did. absolutely. She did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is that old song uh, Shirley Caesar used to say? Oh, 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 my mule. Oh, my mule. Yeah. 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 What do you mean? I can't, I can't shout it. I can't shout it. Why here? Hold my mule. I love that. I mean, that, that, that's, part of, uh, that's part of the joy of, of following a life like, like David's. Mm -hmm. uh, Last part we'll cover is uh, uh, David's uh, comment, verses 3 through 5. Abandoned by God. Somebody read that. You are enthroned mm -hmm. as the Holy One. You are the one Israel praises. In you our ancestors put their trust. They trusted and you delivered them. To you they cried out and were saved. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. Mm -hmm. So that, that's kind of saying what I just said about grandma, right? Mm -hmm. If you can't find the blessings in your life that mm -hmm. uh, God has, mm -hmm. think about what grandma told you. Yes, sir. <laughs> or, or think about somebody else whose yeah. life has been enriched with blessings. Right. Yeah. And they've, that, that's why providing testimony is so important. So important. Mm -hmm. So important because it gives others the opportunity to see the hand of God move. Right. Some folks are, are, are just, uh, what do you call it, uh, uncomfortable doing that. But if they can just understand what a blessing it is. I mean, it, it's always joyful to see Deacon Hester as an example. Yeah. Stand up oh, and stand up. He doesn't have to say a word. He doesn't have to yeah. say anything. Really. 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 Just, just seeing him. Just the call. Don't see him. You wonder what's wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know. It's, just, it's wonderful that way. But yeah. he was trying to went out and cut the grass, and mm -hmm. then he had to leave church because he wasn't feeling well. Yeah. So mm -hmm. those little things he tries to do, <laughs> but he slams it, keeps yeah. it normal. Yeah. But it yeah. keeps yeah. it normal. Yeah. 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 And so David in that passage is, is, is looking back at the history of his people, mm -hmm. and and the and the, looking back at that gives him the strength that he needs to to continue to. Recognize his faith. David demonstrates that by prayer, true faith is known, much like the goodness of a tree is known by the fruit it bears. That's right. Prayer does that for us. It, it clearly brings out in us the uh, the bearing of fruit that only can come from a great relationship that we have with God. I mean, why else would you, when people go out on street corners and share the gospel in the heart of the city, mm -hmm. where, where the trouble really lies? I mean, it's safe to, to do temp revivals in <laughs> safe places. Right? <laughs> but you go over to southeast D.C., <laughs> you know, there, there, there's, some, there's some troubled places over there. Very troubled place. Uh, anything else that we Just a need to quick, cover? Uh, George Thomas is, I think we've told you, he had, he's had eight strokes since November. Or December. Since December. Since December. But here's the blessing. I, like, if I want to capitalize it quickly. Mm -hmm. Never lost his faith. 
Praise never God. stopped trying. Praise he had, he went from Norfolk General to mm -hmm. uh, Johns Hopkins to Sibley. He's supposed to be released Friday. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, he's talking. He had lost his voice. He's at a very, very low octave. It's now the normal octave. Uh, mm -hmm. He smiles, and he is able to walk again. Mm -hmm. And it's, his testimony is so strong. People in his room, uh, Beverly said, the last guy in his room said, it was a joy to be in, not in the hospital, but if I were going to be in the hospital, yeah, yeah, to, yeah. Be in your, to be in the room with you. Praise and I thought about, he's using that experience, and he's not down. He, he, we've tried to go once a week to visit mm -hmm. him because we've been lifelong friends. But his spirit has been such an encouragement to so many hmm. as he's traveled this journey. Yeah. And um, it, he thought he was doing all well, and he was sent over to Sibley. They discovered two more strokes after the first six. Hmm. He goes back, and he said, uh, you know, but he, throughout all of this, he's been an inspiration mm -hmm. to all of us. And so has his wife, because she's committed to being there with him every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. And it says something about marriage. It says something about relationships. But it also says much about faith. Mm -hmm. And I thought about Paul in a prison testifying. Mm -hmm. And here's, he's in a hospital and barely able to get that octave up. But he was mm -hmm. praising God for what he was able to do. And he was able to go to church Easter oh. outside of the building. So it's, he's a joy to watch. He That's truly beautiful. is. Mm -hmm. And I asked, I told him that we would be praying for him. I took the liberty of to let him know that we prayed for him and we would pray for him this morning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that and he continues to witness because he's excited about it. Mm -hmm. Using That's this beautiful. as an opportunity. When, when are you going to visit him again? We, we sent a, a, a text yeah, every day. And I, oh, well, when he gets out, we will make a point of trying to let him stay the night and, and come over. Because okay. he's going to be staying with his son, Derek. They have a home in Arlington. Mm -hmm. uh, but his, he's, he left his home, was it December the 12th? No, has, 23rd. 23rd has not been back since. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to sell the home. He mm -hmm. said, imagine what it feels like to leave your home mm -hmm. for all the night, one night, and never, ever go back to that home. Mm -hmm. And he says it with a smile on his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, all my right. God. <laughs> it's the only way I can clean up my house is to leave it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying his whole demeanor is what a a peace, and I mean, he's going, he's going through some tough times, and so is she, and in the meantime, her father's in hospice care, uh, but he's 95, and has had a very good life, so I'm just saying, so, but they all, you know, it's about their faith, yeah. so it's a God thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, that, that's the key to it, and yeah. David is certainly showing us in Psalm 22 that it's, it's all about staying focused on our faith, mm -hmm. yeah. that will help to get us through. Yeah. Is there anything else that we need to cover uh, before we come back next week and continue on? Where are we on verse Psalm 7 22? next week? Mm -hmm. Six. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Well, you know, I'm slow with this thing, so. Yeah. All minds clear? All minds clear. Oh,